Good morning! I'm videoing this way up today because I'll be getting arm ache because <laughs> I have to hold my arms right out to hold my phone the other way. And yesterday we got Charlie Chumped. I got a Charlie Chumper right in my armpit there and one on my. I just popped down myself. One on my tattoo that I hadn't realised. I did know I'd been bitten. I just feel popped down my bazoomas. <laughs> that won't help. I knew, I knew I'd got bitten on my legs because with it being so wet, I was walking through the field and I stopped to take a video of that video of all the puppies and I felt like a sharp pinprick in my leg. I looked down, blooming fly oven, it's breakfast. Chicken puns. Horsefly. You Google horseflies. Apparently, they, once they get the smell of blood, pursue their victims until they're finished. Blooming chicken. Chicken puns. They go for dark colours, which is why they were feeding on my tattoo. And with me walking three black dogs, that doesn't help. But they were right. I don't know if you'll be able to see because I can't see They're on my tattoo. Chicken, chicken puns. Anyway, I found my summer wardrobe. This is an old top from George at Asda, who were in by Walmart for my American viewers. And I, I don't know if you have it too in Canada and all around the world. Daphne's frightened herself because she's got to win it. Come here, baby. Mummy, help. Mummy delivers win it. Yeah, let mummy get a bag. <laughs> I'm back. I hand delivered the win it. It's one of the perks of being a dog mom. In the past, I have um, delivered socks. I had a, when I was dog walking, I had a dog that ate socks. Unfortunately, it led to his ultimate demise, my baby Max. But yes, sometimes he'd start pooing and it would be a sock and then it'd get stuck and I'd have to help him, help, I'd pull it out. Then I'd spread it out on the ground, take a photograph of it and send it to his dad and say, do you reckon I'd this? <laughs> Has he eaten one or two? <laughs> ah, must have been really interesting having your dogs walked by me. Frequently I'd send pictures of their dog's backside going, did you know your dog's, dog's got a heart sheep at bum hole? <laughs> Is that a lump on your dog's testicles? With a photo of, of their dog's testicles. Must have been great fun. <laughs> At least I didn't send them to the wrong people. Did you know, here's a shape of a dog, here's a dog with a heart-shaped bum hole. Google pug bums that look like Christ. It's extremely uh, blasphemous, but once you've seen it, you can't unsee it. If I remember, I'll try and get a picture of it. Once you've seen it, they really do look like um, Jesus on the cross. Sent to remind us, no doubt. I'm just going to have another slap. It's very warm, very warm. You can really see my twat tan. There's a line. But I suppose what's weird is because I wear these, it delineates. It breaks up where, like, there's tan, there's not tan. And you notice, carry on, Baralus. Bit jiggly, but what the heck? I'm not doing anything really. I'm going to go and see a friend for coffee. I'm going round to her house, her house, because normally we would meet, and I would leave the dogs in the van with a nice big chew and the windows open. But it's just way too hot for that. So, and I know it sounds cruel leaving your dogs in the van, and I don't in this weather, which is why I'm going to my friend's house. Um. But to me, they're happier when they're with me. I couldn't leave them with my dad for a long time. So the lesser of all the evils was that I would sit next to the van having a coffee. They would sit in the van. There, don't judge me. I know you wouldn't. So Big Kev's gone home. So we're walking in the leafy lane bit of the walk again today. Uh, 
Lucy's just chased the cyclist. I've just delivered a win it. They had snacks to celebrate the delivery of the win it. And now we're back walking again. We listen to a great podcast. We're going to start a new challenge. I'm so sugar free, by the way. The only thing that I eat that's got sugar in it is a very low sugar, high protein bar, vegan bar, form of protein. I have one of those every couple of days as a meat. And I eat 90% dark chocolate. But when you've not been eating sugar, it tastes quite sweet, 90%. So, yes, my next challenge. I'm going to do a meditation challenge. I'm going to do... I can see a bunny rabbit in the distance. Hmm. Run home, bunny rabbit. The make mate twins are coming. The make mate twins. Just checking the time. 10 to 9. I've got an R. We'll go this way. Um... <laughs> I'm on Pebble Lane. I call this Pebble Lane now. Nah. That's my Nottingham accent. Call it Pebble Lane now. Nah. Cause it's a lane of pebbles. Oh, I got some good ones yesterday, but I didn't. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I didn't bore you with them yesterday. It's got potential. Shaped like a kiddly. And my brother's getting me a pebble, pebble polisher. <coughs> pebble polisher for my birthday which is on Sunday. I'm going to be 51. No, don't believe it for a second. You can't be 51. You don't look at there, it's 30. 30, I tell you. Oh, you're so sweet. So he's getting me a pebble polisher and some of these will be put in the pebble polisher and brought to life. Others will be left au natural. For a pebble is nature and is meant to be natural. And so it shall be and henceforth and forthwith. And my snot bucket is now full. <sighs> Bit of a dilemma. Oh, I forgot to take all my tablets this morning. I was talking to Kirsten just before I came out. I said, oh, I'm going to take an, an antihistamine today because my sniffles on the videos are really annoying me. And she very kindly said, um, I don't really notice them, which is very kind of her. Apart from when, I draw, when you draw attention to them all the time. Mm, it's true, I do do that. But the sniffles drive me mad. I like that one. How did it get so smooth? Anybody on here a geologist? Or know a geologist that could help me with identifying some pebbles? Because some of them that I find are, and it can only be said, pimazing. Absolutely pimazing. That rabbit just went away and it's come back again. Oh, wants its exercise this morning, being chased by the numpties. I'm just getting a handkerchief to empty my snot bucket. I have many handkerchiefs. I, I, I never, I don't leave the house without a handkerchief. If I do, it's a disaster. Even in winter. I am one of life's dribblers. I always need to mop up my moistness. If you're watching Bev, that's what, that one's for you. I went to art class yesterday. Had a lovely time. Quite challenging. Watercolours again. I enjoyed it muchly so. So I was being bitten then by a Charles de Champ, a Charlie Chomper. Ooh, fairy stone maybe. Controversial. I'm sorry, I'm sure you get really bored of me and my pebbles. Well, then maybe it's the highlight of the video for you. Especially if anyone's got a penchant for pebbles. Do you have a penchant for pebbles? If that was, um, if I was going to run a pebble support group, that would be the first line of the advert. Do you have a penchant for pebbles? Oh, stones driving you silly. Do you go ravenous for rocks? Talking of ravenous for rocks. <laughs> There's a new dish somewhere. I saw it on um, Tom Davis, uh, who does, is an English actor, uh, comedian. He's very tall. Um, he posted on his Instagram this morning, there is a restaurant somewhere in the world that takes pebbles out of the ocean that apparently are very rich in, ooh, very rich in like vitamins and, and they absorb the vitamins and taste of the sea. So there are these chefs that cook them. 
cover them in oils and dressings and vegetables and you're supposed to suck the flavour out of the pebbles. That one looked like it was fossiler. Um, yes, so, you know, this pebble malarkey, it can go so many places. I'm going to become the world's first pebble millionaire. You heard it here first. Watch this space. For there is nothing you can't do with pebbles. Girls have seen something and gone off running. We are earlier again, but not as early as I wanted to be because I couldn't get myself in gear. Because I look at my watch and I go, right, I want to be in the van by half past seven. So that's 20 minutes. So I've got time to drink my coffee and finish playing this stupid game on the phone, uh, get dressed. And no, I haven't got time for all of those things. Absolute numpty pants. Hmm. You haven't got time for any of those things. If you've got 20 minutes before you want to be in the van, get up, you absolute idiot. And, but I didn't. I thought, oh, I'll just play this game, finish my coffee. Plenty of time. Then all of a sudden it was half past seven. Kirsten rang. If I'd have been in the van, I wouldn't have had to... Well, I didn't call back. I spoke to her there and then. That's the kind of girl I am. Sometimes you just got to go with it. I think I'm high on pebbles. <laughs> oh! Because of the rain, they're so beautiful. This one's like got a mend. Pebble tidy up yesterday because I'd got 40 pebbles or so on my chest of drawers. So I put them all in a container, which is what I do with them at the moment. But you know what's coming next when I get my unit. My unit, hopefully a week on Monday. Nice, fairy stone. Thank you very much, Universe, for, for, for providing me with that fairy stone. Yes, when I get my unit, pebbles we, will be metamorphosized into all kinds of goodies. And I had another brilliant idea this morning about pebbles. What about I could offer to, like, do things... I haven't got any more specific with that idea do so people who like collect a nice shell when they're on holiday or collect pebbles off the beach while they're on holiday they could send them to me and I could turn them into something amazing what do you think great idea isn't it great idea no idea what I was just talking about I've gone off on one today I've had a small coffee and I had a coffee before I left my house that is two coffees maybe that's why but that's all the caffeine I shall have today. I am not drinking energy drinks anymore. I'm drinking zero calorie pop. Because in Asda at the minute, they're doing three yet. Small burp. Three 24 packs for 24 pounds. That's a bargain. Three 24s are 60, 72 for 24 pounds. Blooming bargain. So I got 24 Fanta Zero. I got 24. 7-Up Cherry Zero. Intriguing. And 24 Coca-Cola Vanilla Zero. Mm, nothing to see here. Carry on. Talk amongst yourselves. Just a girl looking for pebbles. Nothing to see here. <laughs> well, look at that! It's got two linked fairy circles. It's got fairy bazoomers, and it's got an almost complete fairy stone on its bottom. Um, where was I? Completely forgotten. Pebble collecting, and then I went off on one. Oh, that's what I was going to say. So the. Uh, I try and take a different photo every day to use as the thumbnail. I'm going to try and get as profesh as Kirsten because her thumbnails are dead profesh. Uh, but at the minute they're just pictures of my face. So I take a different photo every day to use as the profile, as the thumbnail. Yesterday I took a photo and I, for some reason I can never take one photo. I always have to take four just to make sure I get a good photo. So I took a photo 
and just seen a rabbit. Uh, I took a photo, then I took a second photo. When I looked at the second photo, there was like a, an aura thing. And I hadn't changed my position. Then I looked again, I took a third photo, looked again, there was a really obvious thing. And again, I hadn't changed my position. I stood exactly still and like lined myself up with the camera. And then, so I took a fourth photo and that came out exactly as it looked on my screen when I looked at it. But I will post the pictures here and tell me if you can see. I can see, now I look at them in, in sequence, I can see a very slight, a slightly more pronounced and then a definite shape next to my face. I don't like to judge YouTube viewers, but when I put the title of Boobs and OnlyFans as the title of my vlog, I got 75 views. <laughs> That's quite a high number of views for me. <laughs> Yesterday I put Boobicula, 20 views. Shame on you, YouTube. You're looking in the wrong place for boobs. Boobs won't be on YouTubes. No tube boobs. No boobs on tubes. So. I'm going to stop recording now because I really have no idea where my brain's going. It's all over the shop, I tell you. Look, I'm even talking in that voice again. I don't even know what that voice is. I suppose it's my posh voice. So when I'm imparting knowledge and facts. <laughs> I'm going to take a breather, drink some pop. Maybe come back and record some more. Maybe not. One can never tell with me. <laughs> but I think I've recorded for over 17 minutes and I'm not actually technically said a blooming thing. <laughs> I was going to do a 30 day meditation challenge. I am starting tomorrow. There, I've said it now. It's taken me 17 minutes to say that. That was the only thing I was going to say today. <laughs> Enjoy. It's warm. Drink plenty. Stay hydrated. Stay out of the sun and wear sun cream. Take care of yourselves. If you've enjoyed this video, I judge you. <laughs> Please click the thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please click the notification bell, then you'll get a ding every time I upload a video. I'm going to try and get so that I upload them at the same time every day. That's called being organised. That is what Kirsten does. That is what I shall do. For she is a great tuber. Anyway. Catch you later! Mm-hmm. <laughs>